is uh, an opportunity to make you host an NCAA regional and you have a good weekend up in Kansas City. How do you avoid focusing on that but realizing that could be a possibility? You know, that's kind of the question of the hour, Eric, to be honest with you, because I think sometimes we spend so much energy on trying to avoid something that we kind of focus too much on it. I'm kind of mostly talking to Taylor over talking to you right now. Uh, but no, honestly, I think from, from myself and my stand, and a standpoint, I'm just excited to coach this team, period. And that's the excitement I'm going to bring. I want us to have so much energy. I want... Uh, I want our bench to be incredible. I want to coach this team. I want us to continue to simplify things in our game that we can just play and we can just get better. So from a from a coaching standpoint, from a playing standpoint, we're not going to do a team meeting and talk about what we don't want to talk about, you know, or what we don't want to think about or what we're going to do. We literally are going to go in and we're going to play every possession and I'm going to play it with them. And that's that's the only thing from my standpoint that I want to focus on. And so we're not going to, we're not even going to talk about it or live about it or anything else. And we're not going to try to not think about it. We're just going to go and we're going to play. And today we're going to practice and we're going to have a great practice and that's it. And then tomorrow we'll figure out tomorrow. So coach, how different is it coaching in this big 12 tournament? You were at the Valley where, you know, sometimes it was a one bid lead. There were years they were getting that large in, but what's it like playing in this tournament where Yeah, I, you know, that's a really good thought process, too, because most of those years, even when you felt like maybe you had, you know, we're, we're ranked in the top 25 and you feel like you're, you're in the NCAA tournament, you don't really know when you're at that level, you know, and so you, you go in and you got to play every possession and every single game. And so I think that is something that I personally can bring to this team is just being able to keep it that simple and you don't you don't go focus on the next day you don't focus on even the next half you literally focus on every one of those possessions because I think we have opportunity to get better I think it's nice to know uh, that we have a great body of work going into this tournament um, and at the same time who cares it's March like go for it like go have fun go play go you know stay as a team, stay connected as a team, have incredible energy and just play every possession. So from that standpoint, I do have a different perspective and I've lived a different perspective for about 10 years um, that I think can actually be really helpful for us right now. I want to ask you too, is it good, bad, and different that you're turning around and playing Kansas just six days after you played them again? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, right? Like it's it's not, uh, I, hopefully it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How do you feel, Taylor? I mean, do you are you excited that it's the same team or different team or? It doesn't really matter. I'm just glad we get to play again and um, have a chance to go show what we're about. Yeah, hey, Taylor. And I guess that's it. I mean, anxious to get back on the floor after Saturday, and you individually, and you feel like play as a team, you guys are ready to get back on the floor. Um. Yeah, I think we're all ready to get back because we didn't have our best game the last game individually or collectively as a team we weren't all together as much as we would have liked to be so I think we'll be ready to show that this time. Is it almost a blessing in disguise Taylor when you think about it? I know no one likes to lose no one does but you kind of reset refocus and like coach said it's March I mean does it just kind of fire you up even more? Yeah I think it does um, we're all really focused right now and I think that we're going to be ready to play our best basketball of the year. Jenny, what are you guys going to have to do uh, Friday to have success? Again, I think it's exactly what Taylor said. I think you, I think you play every possession. You can't overdo uh, the game the last weekend either, because both teams will make adjustments. And and you know, I mean, they they do a great job of being able to add different elements in in every game. And so that's something that we're still going to have to read the game and be able to adjust. Uh, and offensively, I think we can do a much better job of just playing together and really setting each other up. And so I think from that standpoint, those are things we try to focus on in every game. But it's a uh, you got to go in and just have have life, have a bounce, have a togetherness, have an edge, all of those things. And so um, that that to me is what I'm excited to see. 
just a few more questions. Taylor, just you've been through these Big 12 tournaments over the past few years. Excitement level going into this one with the success you've had and the momentum this team has had. I'm very excited. Um, we've never played more than one game in the Big 12 tournament, so hopefully looking to change that this year and to be able to make a run. Um, it's just really exciting, especially watching all of the other conference tournaments that have happened so far and all of the upsets and the runs that some teams are making. And that's kind of what we want to do. We want to make, be able to make a run and be like that. I know you're a basketball junkie, Taylor. Have you been watching games all week? And uh, has this been a special part of your life since you were a little kid? Yeah. Um, yeah, Champ Week is always one of the best weeks. Um, growing up, I used to watch that. 24 7 like when it would be spring break would literally turn the tv on at 11 a.m when the first games would start and then just watch basketball the whole entire day <laughs> and uh, my last question for you taylor just when we look at the younger players i'm thinking about kelby too what do you do to prepare them for weekends like this you know do you, do you try not to let them make it bigger than it is just go out and play basketball um i think that all of the younger players on our team, I think they're already ready for this, um, just to keep them like level-headed, keep them steady, not worrying about anything, and just to play like uh, play like us and to just be themselves on the court and everything else will be fine. Danny, two, two more questions. I want to ask you too, when you go through the second time through the league schedule and teams have had an opportunity to scout and play you, did you see any differences in all the way the teams adjusted to your style of coaching and personnel that you have well I think there's I think there is some of that uh, as you go through the second time around and I think it's also part of our own process of you know I think when we started playing at the beginning of the season in the non-conference it was like let's just go and then I think obviously you know as the conference season began was right after it was kind of okay we got to find a new identity right I mean we had just lost Anna. We were going through a lot of different lineups because of other health and safety protocols. Um, and so we had a lot of change at that beginning. Um, and then really the second time around is where we really started to find our identity and also tried to manage some expectation. And so I think for us to go, you know, and really just play together and really like you said, create the momentum, man, when we get momentum, we're, we're real fun. And it's, and, and so that's exactly where you want to be heading. I mean, look at the lessons we've already learned throughout this entire season and the adjustments and the, the flexibility that we've had to have. And so from that standpoint, I think the second time around gives you, gives you a little glimpse in terms of, okay, we still got to show up in every single possession. You know, that's one. We still got to have that edge about us. That's two. The confidence that we have in ourselves and our teammates. That's three. Obviously, the execution on the offensive end, the defensive end, and the rebounding. Those are those are those are byproducts of all those other things. And so, from that standpoint, I think we're. Ex I think we have an incredible picture of our potential, and now we got to go for it. My last question is, uh, you know, I asked Taylor about providing senior leadership for some of those younger players, and I want to ask you about Maddie and Taylor. Both of them really have seemed like they've been consistent all year, and, and we're seeing some of the individual accolades with the finalists, the, the awards mm -hmm. that they're getting. Just, I guess, these two, how important are they in March in, in Kansas City this week and moving forward to con maintaining that consistency and, and providing that, that sharp leadership that you need? Well, Maddie and Maddie and Taylor, I mean, you've heard me talk about them a million times, but Maddie and Taylor are are incredible. And I think they're incredible in the sense of one, when we first got here, they were all in right from the beginning. And I think you don't really get that from players of this caliber uh, in a program. And so from that standpoint, it's been really fun to be able to build throughout that year. And I think you don't really know people till you live with them for a year and we're coming on a year. Um, <laughs> But I think, I think we know each other. I think we understand each other a little bit more now than we ever have. Uh, and I think we're at that, at that point where we can really start to uh, grow together. I think the, the, the fact that they can articulate certain things, you know, at the beginning, it was me just trying to tell them, this is what I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, and trying to 
really understand their games and how it can fit within that. And so I think we've been able to build something different and special throughout the season. And so I think from their leadership, I think they, they talk well to their teammates. They can articulate, they can, they can understand some of the things that we're trying to do. I think some of the challenge with that is sometimes they try to take on too much and then you kind of forget to play your own game within it because again, it's still we're still in this first year of trying to learn all these different things from each other. And so I think you can see some of that when they try to carry too much. Uh, but from an investment standpoint, from a work ethic standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, they are just amazing. And so for me, I'm excited to be able to watch them continue to play every possession and to continue to just focus on getting better, to continue to build each other up. I mean, Maddie and Taylor also, their personalities are so different and they complement each other so incredibly well. It's, it's, I mean, you take, you take life right now outside of sport and you take these two people and you put them together for a common bond and you find a way. And not only do you find a way, you make each other better and the people around you better. I mean, this is a microcosm of what could happen in life. I really believe that. Because they believe in each other, they care about each other, uh, they're willing to challenge each other, and they have fun. And it's really, really cool. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.